any of that fun stuff. All right, so let's see what we got. And go. I actually sound better. Uh, let's see, it's looking like... It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, check that out. That looks a lot better. It runs a lot better, too. Yeah, judging by the mouse, it looks a lot better. Okay, it's looking fine. You looking fine, Apple. You looking real fine. Oh yeah, that's much, much better. That happens sometimes. Okay. So let's see here, what do we got? Looking good, yeah. Mouse is running at 60 FPS. Everything's looking good. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the... What the fuck? It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the... Unterzi. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Decide who you were and what you want to be. Alright. What's up, Drake? Decide who you were. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. But who were you? A street urchin, a poet, a veteran of the campaign, campaign of 68, an ordained priest, a natural philosopher. Hmm, I'm going to let you guys decide this one. Street urchin, a poet, a veteran, a priest, or a philosopher? I have no idea what any of this stuff. This is uh, some Cthulhu stuff. Yeah, there's some Cthulhu stuff in here. I don't know. I don't know what any of these bonuses are. I don't know. Philosophy. Bonus to mirrors. The skill of detecting and perception. I got I got two for philosopher. Your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the Neath, the cavern where London lies. And now they take you out to Z. <laughs> okay. Okay. Your acquaintances, the plausible surgeon, will serve as your ship's doctor until you find someone better. Oh, there he is. Let's see. Now you're a Z captain. They call it the Z now. 20 Echo, Mirror, a, a, a surgeon, and someone is looking for passage. Let's see here. Choose an ambition. What, is, what, is, what does mean, winning mean to you? Your father's bones. Your father was lost at Z. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Fulfillment, gather hundred tales, learn all you can of the Z, write a masterpiece. Wealth, you know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family perhaps. Can't do private kingdom. All right, so bones, bones, wealth, or fulfillment. Anime boys, no. There's a dabbling of Lovecraft, but that's definitely not the whole picture. All right, cool, cool. Cool sword play, cool. Yes, I don't see the the pretty Anna boy, anime boy um, option. Um, it might be Private Kingdom. Um, the colony might be anime boys. I'm not too sure. So you guys, you he had to pick another one. <laughs> oh, I'll pick the father's bones. Got to save my father from the Z. Full Fathom 5. Find where he fell and bring him home. When you find your father's bone, you can retire to victory. Explore fallen London to find your first clue. The last scrap of paperwork. Captain, Captain. An irregularity with the harbor, harbor master's office. They wish to know what term to address you, but for a show. This will determine what people will call you by captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. Madame, sir, citizen, my lord, my lady, captain. More Z captains choose this than you might expect. <laughs> Sir, citizen, a term addressing popular among those with egalitarian sentiments. Perhaps you really do come from a noble family. Who knows? Perhaps you really come from a noble family. Who knows? Captain will do perfectly well ashore as well as at sea. Thank you. Thank you. I am your captain. 
I'll give him a cuppin. Captain, it is. The last piece of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die. Oh. 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 Choose my name. I'm going to start with a Opal Bead. Opal Bead. And you're going <laughs> to... Got my caps lock on. He's gonna be. He's gonna be. He's gonna. He's going Mwah. Apple B. <laughs> Your father's bones. A cold trail. A gracious widow. It is said that she controls half the crime in London. It is said that she is five hundred years old. It is said that she can distill spirits and delight in the tongue and melt the flesh. It is said that she has paid for a memorial headstone to be set up for your father. What does she know? Okay, let's find out. Oh, she knows so much reading. Receives you in utter darkness. Blink as a bandage laid across your eyes. This is usual for the widow. Yes, yes, she says, and her voice is oddly useful. Oh, I have an interest in your father. I had hoped news of your headstone would bring someone looking, and here you are. I have an idea where his bones might be. Perhaps you will help recover them. But I'd like you to cover my expenses. First, I need something from a tonic. Skintalac. You can find it in Port Cecile. I understand you may go. Okay. Who's this? A comatose ferret. It's it's my mascot. A comatose ferret. Mostly, it's immobile. Occasionally, it's feral. Oh. Oh, okay. Someone in the docks is wants to board your ship. Okay, yeah. Agree to carry an anxious university student to Hunter's Keep. All right, sure. Um, let's see here. Advice for captains on endings and beginnings. Okay, nah, 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 nah. we don't need a, we don't need any of that. London, she's the greatest city. Let's see. Locked, locked. Hire one on more crew. Put your ship dry dock. Offer passage to tomb colonists. All right, well, let's get more people. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Visit the Admiral Survey Office. Yeah, sure. Eh, eh perhaps not. <laughs> Here's my lodgings. Perhaps not. All right, let's get out of here. Here's my little tugboat. Tutorial. Yes. Hello. Disable. Oh, no. I might have needed that. Launch. Pop, 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 pop. It is like a little, little putt boat. Toggle lights. Z bat? Did I just set down a bat? I get free supplies of news. Uh oh. Chart main island. Northeast. Some distance to the northeast. I must bring this student. I want to crank up the volume. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, kind of, like, what's going on? Ah, here we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, well, that was quick. Hunter's Keep. Toot toot. I made it. Explain the game. I <laughs> fucking bats took London and put it underwater. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> I swear, that's all I know. <laughs> Bats took London and put it underwater. <laughs> and they call it the Z now. Okay, anyway, okay. Um, Hunter's Keep. Present yourself. Walk the gardens. Spy on the house. I'm going to present myself. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. Oh... A visitor! The youngest cries, the next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. 
Your good time for lunch. Will you join us? Okay. Have a lunch with the sisters. Ooh, I get to pick one. Hmm. Cynthia's the eldest. Lucy, the middle. She's prone to giggles. Let's go with Phoebe. Phoebe has a story to tell. The two lovers parted by water. They call it the Z because a popular play featured Dutch sailors and the accent came in vogue. Ah. Well, that's, I guess that's why. I've gained some supplies. I've lost hunger. The cods of the Z. Storm's attention. Quality is now. Hmm. Okay. Shipyard. Do we have any shops? Officers. My surgeon. Journal. Okay, well. Launching. Put 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 put. Low Barnet. Hmm. How do I shoot? <laughs> How do I shoot stuff? I have eight barrels of fool. Fuel. What is this? It's my hole. Reduce that. Okay. I don't have to keep holding it down. Best way to make a crust in the early game is to make report. They go to a certain naval office. Uh oh. Pirate steam pennants. Ash. Oh shit, we missed. Get him, boys. Woo! Port reports. Ah, oh, let's get his shit. <laughs> You've destroyed a pirate steam pinnace. The ship is yours. What will you take with her? Loot and scuttle her. She's a vile old vessel, and these. And these the and these these aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. These pinnaces don't sail far from their hidden harbors, but here's something at the back of the hold. You have finished opening a cache of curiosities. Shake a little out and let the glimmer of light. I got some spider silk. You can find spider silk in London, of course. There are troubles there with sorrow spider infestations, like anywhere in the Neath. But the real quality, you'd need to go east to the Kenates or the fang bristling fastness of the Savior's rocks. Okay. I got spider silk. Hmm. First few minutes and Apple wants to kill shit? Yup. You know it. You know it, baby. Salt and shadow, stuff at full. And now, let's get this white. <laughs> I don't have fuel, I got petrol. It's a British shit, after all. You have gained a secret. Speak to your officers to improve your abilities. I've gained a secret, huh? Let's see. Officer? Officer Mascot! I'm gonna speak to you. <laughs> it lies across your desk like a lumpy scarf. Today, your ferret seems a little livelier. Oh, okay. The ferret raises its head and snaps at your hand. It moves so slowly that you cannot imagine it hopes to bite you properly. It sets its head... At an angle. The angle says, yes, I know how you taste. Oh. Okay. Speak to our surgeon. <laughs> Increase your Oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho. We like to talk about the secrets. We believe secrets are my favorite. Spending a secret will improve your pages, but no higher than 50. 
Mm -hmm. He likes to sit very close when he speaks. A plausible surgeon, he speaks familiarly of diseases and hauntings, as if he knew their first names. Hmm. Okay. I guess I have a page of something. Moving on. All clear. All right. All clear. Hmm. I found. I keep finding fragments. Vendor bite. Yeah, let's see what we got in vendor bite. Few die in fallen London. They come here instead. The tomb colony of vendor bite. On deck, you can hear the sound of a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience. Restless concert audience. Or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. Hmm. Explore Vanderbites. Visit the first curator. What does this one give me? Unlock... Unlocked with witness, the curators end no more than Zer. Z captains. The first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London. Like all the oldest tomb colonists, but even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London. Let's see. Here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The Nenth Blow. Hmm. No more light. The obscuous steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into the near darkness. A pair of luminous lamp lighter bees buzz in the lacid ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bonded ship, no larger than a child, lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious efforts. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of bees. Huh. Listen to the whispered requests. Okay. I will go to the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colors. Seven colors. Pay well. Cosmogen, Irrigan, Pelagon, Steward has a list. Find them. Okay, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Depart for now. Let's see. Out of the gloom. Let's see. The tomb. Explore vendor bite. Something that awaits you. Here they fable candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged with cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in the three seems abandoned. Hmm. Picnic. <laughs> Maybe let's have a little picnic. The creepers climb the shattered pyramids. An owl blinks at you from an idol's mouth. In the undergrowth, a cave lizard munches decorously on a white cricket. This place seems peaceful. Rest well. Hmm. What's up, sugar knight? Let's see. We're going to go uh, search the ruins. Ah, yes. A cache of curiosities. I have succeeded the Miro's challenge. The higher the quality, the higher the chance of success. Oh, let's see what we got. I thought it said frickin' honey. I got some frickin' honey. A firekin of honey. This is what they call prisoner's honey. Rung by the lamplight a bee from the exile's rose. I wonder... Two thousand... Or... Oh, oh. <laughs> made up these names. Oh, I wonder... Ooh. I wonder who made up these names. Remarks Abel Seaman Cargett. Someone who has read a sight too many books, I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, moving on. And let's go. Yeah, the ferret doesn't sound that comatose. I'm going to have to get some more fuel soon. Pickett's Bluff. The scent of the Z. 
Salt and Frost and Cellars, Black Spices. I wonder what this stands for. Oh, Terror. The Z is wild. The Z is wide and dark. Terror is increasing. Really? That's so terror. Fed the crew. Boreal Reach. Does this snow touch it? And it puffs of vapor. Your crew huddles close for the warmth of pipe and funnel. A what? A life bird? We have entered the fog bank. <laughs> what? It's alive! <laughs> Run! Far off, very far off. Someone screams. Discovered sensor's arch. Well, it goes very slow. So we're gonna... It's, it's, oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, it's coming! We're gonna go back! Alright, it's turning around. <laughs> Piss it off now! Piss it off! Piss it off! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Apple's just gonna... The iceberg's gonna come after him! What's up, bitch? Boom! Boom! Yeah! Sploosh! <laughs> Run! Petrol, petrol, yes, excuse me. That's a pussy! Hi, mate! To the depths, would ya? To the depths! Oh shit, my is coming right for us! Ah! Oh. Get him one for! Hiya! Pop him again, Yod! Time to go! Time to go! Woo wee! Oh, it's still coming! Nope, it's good. I lost my crew! I lost my crew! Oh, now you know what that means. Full speed ahead, baby. Yeah! Boo! You took my crew! You killed my ferret! I'll see you in hell! <laughs> Your ship founders, there are screams. A flood of dark water. The unforgettable sound of a ship's spine breaking. Slips beneath the waves. Perhaps you'll be remembered in a song. <laughs> no more sleep. Your memoirs, quality of lodging. <laughs> Everyone died. I don't have any legacies. Um. A opal bed. Yep. A opal bed. Retain 50% of the pages. Um, shit, man. I don't know. Okay. Sleep. Apple goes to sleep. Most ships equipment. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. Oh, let's do street urchins. Oh, we got a cutie. A long shank is a recent graduate from the urchin gangs, but where did she, she learn to fire a cannon? I'm gonna do father's bones again. Suh. So. 
I'm gonna do this guy, and it's gonna be. It's gonna be Apple. I must find my father's bones. Yes. Agree to carry an unsettled salvager to vendor bite. She visits wool stack every day in these stained rags. Begging for passage, no captain will look in her in the eye. All right, bound for vendor bite. Let's see. I was told to read the papers. Oh, perhaps not. London. Read the papers. Visit Admiralty Survey Office. Let's see here. You have an appointment. Eh. Anything in particular that they need. This port. Speak to Isaac there and return. We'll see that you are rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details on your journal at any time. Retrieve strategic information from Gators Morn in the Corsair's Forest. Somewhere not far from home waters. Mm, excellent. Let's, uh, let's see here. My lodgings. Read the morning papers. I've gained supplies. Excellent. The con the Connates is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies in the Carnelian course want independent. They always do. The Unterzee, the paper reports, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't. You didn't know. What is it, CNN? Oho! A promotional coupon from Miss Plenty's Provisioners for half cask of salt herring. You could use that. Oh, good. I got a coupon. All right, let's go. Put, 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 put. So let's see. Let's see. Where are we going? I still think it's great just to have this. It's this the noise. Yeah, don't die to a living iceberg this time. Bad Steveners Abyss. <gasps> I got a horn! <laughs> Why, thank you, Demiser All. Demise of. Demiser of D. Excuse me. No, excuse me. Moody's Lights. Let's see here. Here the wild airs mingled with the airs of the near reaches. Demau's gate, named for the navigator lost above, how did his bones come below? On the horizon a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. Let's uh, check to see where we need to go. Objectives. Find your father's bones. Retrieve strategic information from Gators Moor in the Corsair's Force. Somewhere not far from home waters. Okay. I just need to... Somewhere not far. Gators Mourn. Alright. We're looking for Gators Mourn. Hang on. There we go. That's what I call a horn right there, baby. Mutton Island, huh? Let, I should let them know I'm coming in. Okay, good. Quaker's Haven. You think they know I'm here? Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. You have gained a secret. Speak to your officers to improve your abilities. What's up, Quaker's Haven? Drinks at the Cock and Magpie. There's only one public house on the island, the Cock and Magpie. It is famed for its local cider and, of course, the the Z food. I'm gonna get so pick up a wretched bog. Explore the shore. Let's explore the shore real quick. A woman in an iridescent green gown waves vaguely from a rock near the shore. Sorrowful sights waft across the water towards you. An idiot castaway, a mermaid. Of course not! Mermaids are a preposterous myth! 
I either approach her, the poor woman won't answer your hails, but she's obviously in need of assistance. Or I avoid her. She's probably a pirate or a drowny or someone's feral aunt. Let's 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 approach her. The poor woman won't answer your hails, but she's obviously in need of assistance. Ooh. Ooh. A fanged mouth rears from the water, big enough to bite a boat in half and swallow a pig. The woman contorts and slides into the water. She is the tip of the monster's tail. This will be untidy. Oh no! It's formidable beast, but you are formidable too. <laughs> It is a formidable beast, but you're formidable too. It is always preferable to fight these serpents from inside a ship, not from inside the serpent. Let's let's run away. Flee! A terrible toll! The beast neck snakes out and snaps up a single struggling sailor with terrible deliberation. The rest of you scrabble inland. It submerges, eyeing you with reptilian malice. A Z serpent that masquerades as a lady. Well, that's a tale to tell. Fails, 50 failed in a challenge. Try again and you may have better luck. You've gained 10 terror. You now have one tale of terror. I lost a crew. Oh, I lost... Oh, okay. So I have crew members and then specialty crew members. Oh, all right. Oh, maybe I should start recruiting some more people. <laughs> Quick as heaven. Let's, let's go on the... Let's go walk on the beach again, huh? Buy fuel. I got a lot of fuel. Buy supplies. I think I got a lot of supplies. Chat to the fisherman. They sail the Z around the island. They bend the nets by the harbor. They see all that happens here, but you'll need a coin to open their mouths. Hmm. A yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacled chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide. Presumably, it is hungry. This is a mascot. Oh, it's a mascot. Hmm. But I have, a, I have a ferret. Sometimes lurking on the docks of London. Buy supplies, drinks. Uh, unlocked with terror. I have 11. Oh, well, yeah, let's do this. Drinks at the magpie. Cider and cave door. The trees of the neath are scraggly and wretched. Scraping a living of parasynthesis. Scraping a living with parasynthesis. What the fuck? But the apples of Mutton Island are tart and powerful. Perfect for cider and cider. Zider? Zider! The stuff is strong. Stronger than it looks. You stretch out your seat. Out in your seat. Stare through the leaded window of your safely moored ship. And find yourself whistling the landlord is giving you friendly grin and goes back to wetting his cleaver. Uh-huh. Alright, so echoes are monies. Tales of terror. I'm assuming... I don't want to build up my tales of terror. Yeah, because terror. I need to probably not build that up or I'm going to go crazy. I'm having a little trouble there because all this English. <laughs> Ooh, look at this cutie. She's got she's got mushroom scarf. Long shakes gonna. All right, cop. What do you want for me to shoot out now? Increase your iron. I'll swap your. Hmm. Spending a secret will improve your iron, but no higher than fifty. All right, sure, sure. I got some iron. The gunner ran with the regiment. The urchin gained. What is iron? Destroy. Increase your damage to attacks. Okay. You've gained one iron. <laughs> okay. Cool. It's a learning. It's a learning. Everyone on the Z fears you, but turns out you're just an okay dude with lots of rumors around him. Yeah. It's like that, um... There was a comic, um, that I remember reading where it was about this kid... Who looked like evil incarnate, but he was like the nicest dude ever. And everyone kept thinking he was so evil. And he was able to get away with a bunch of stuff that he didn't even know about because everyone thought he was there he's gonna like kill them and eat them and shit like that. It was a good comic, it was funny. It was a comedy. Fed the crew. Hang on. Alright. Just gotta let everyone know. 
stalagmites loom in the distance like cranes of wolf stack, docks but vaster, vaster. The Corsair's forest, our lookouts are watchful. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Left from the foredeck. So did I make it? Who's that? It's a pirate frigate! Ah, oh, shit! Uh oh. Come on, baby. Oh! No! Oh, this is not a good thing to fight. I don't think we're gonna make it. I just got a feeling. I gotta use my speed. Gotta use my speed. No. <laughs> Guess who got drunk? Was it you, Space Child? Did you get drunk? Did you get drunk, Space Child? You got drunk? Why did you get drunk? You got Jaeger bombs? Inherited weapon, huh? <laughs> Apple just died. It was your birthday. Did you turn 21? I got my ass kicked. Oh, that's a lot of fucking iron. You're a weary soldier. Now you're a captain. Let's gather some tales. I am known as Madame. <laughs> and let's do. Let's do good old. Let's do. Let's do Appy. So if she dies, she's gonna be very sad. I remember when I turned 21, I went out to drink, and I got like a big old pint of whatever, and I don't know. I don't drink anymore, so I don't know anything. Um, and garlic? Something garlic, and the garlic ruined the beer for me, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, board my ship, please. London. Yeah, beer is, uh, I don't like beer. I don't like beer. Hire one more crew, yes. I got more crew. Okay. Let's see, put your ship in dry dock. Mm -hmm. Off the passage to the tomb colonist, yes. I now have one tomb colonist. Take the colonist to vendor bite. No problem. Let's see, let's visit, perhaps not. Labyrinth of Tigers, nope. You didn't drink until like six. You got so drunk you spent so much time with your father the next night you caught fire. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, no, 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 no. My lodgings. Yes, here we go. The Echo Bazaar, the enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her pal palace. 
The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed the nest of gall blighter wasps. I now have news. You got insurance on you. <laughs> You remember going to the bar when you were 18 and you ordered lasagna? <laughs> yeah, I was not like, on my 21st, I was just kind of like, I was kind of neat-ish. This was before I was like, I came out of my shell, essentially. So I was like a little, I was a little dorky boy. So like my, uh, my sister and her husband took me out because my her husband is a huge drinker so he knows like all all kinds of drinks and shit like that so i was like okay he's like hey man you should drink too much this i'm like all right and i drank it and he also ordered the garlic things and i ate the garlic things and then that ruined the beer <laughs> but then i think i went out drinking with my dad like a couple years later and that was way better he introduced me to Gin and tonics. Those are great. Your page score is 25, so glean another 88 fragment. Uh oh. Ready? Home! Fire! Fire! Oh, what's up, lad? Fire! All clear! Let's see what they got. Loot and scuttle. Lean pickings, huh? A stout crate! We gain fuel, alright. Really bizarre Christian anime. A great hot fire? FIRE! Is that what you're talking about? A false star flares in the cavern roof directly above you. Flares and fades. Carissa's port. Isn't this a... Uh, this, is a this is a tomb city right here. Yeah, here we go. Novelty. Novelty lasagna. <laughs> so what do, what do hearts do? Inspire, heal, defend. Increase the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. Speed, stealth, deception. Detect the perception. Okay. Go into port. We're in port, sir. You brought this decaying immigrant north. Now what? Your passenger has been drinking. Oi! She chortles. Defend yourself! She launches a tipsy assault. Your crew hang back, chuckling. Thanks, crew. Your iron quality gives you a 100% chance of success. Tomb colonists have a lifetime of bitter experience. Some of them are the deadliest combatants under the earth. Possibly... This one is, but when she hasn't drunk quite as much rum, you'll never know. She salutes you, laughing. After you disarm her, good fight! She opines, and then she staggers backwards and falls over the side. You never do find out what happened to her, but at least you have her rather magnificent cavalry sword and her belongings. A Landis artifact, gain iron, I lost a tomb, gain two supplies. Excellent. Yeah, she just fell off the side. Bye! Dreams of a lady and dream of one they Find an ancient captain to speak to the unsettled salvager. Explore vendor bite. This is the first cure. Oh, gather gossip. Let's gather some gossip. Along the coast of the Untersee is remarkably hard to die. The decrypt and nearly dead who leave London become a tomb colonist and settle here in bondage peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their pol politics. You gather a haul of complex clues, and enough to keep your contacts in London interested. So I guess go back to London, huh? 
Lodging! Lodging! I do say. Uh oh. What happened? A bat swarm? Fire on the bats! <laughs> Fire on the bats! Bats have been defeated, sir. Jolly good show, huh? Do we get any loot from them? <laughs> ah, yes we do. Bats swarm defeated. Their succulent was stolen blood. Into the pot! I've gained supplies and terror. Okay. All clear. Chip chip. Yep, same same here, I'll go. No interest in drinking. Rare occasions though. On rare occasions. Like I could I could drink like say little baby drinks, like um hard lemonade and the uh, angry orchid orchid drinks, those kind of drinks, but that's it. I'm sure if I drink one of those, I'll just be like <laughs> How come the hunter's hood is down? It's down when I play the hunter? What are you talking about? Like the default costume? It's up? Uh, I don't know. Happy's doing good so far. To battle! All clear! A Zaylor is praying. So the story thus far is bats took London underground. That's it. That's all I know. I have returned. The lights of London welcome you home. The story lit only appears when you've been at sea for a little while. Collect messages from the Hobble Master. All the clatter and song of the dock side. It soothes the soul. Are you... Are there messages for you? Yes, let's check it out. Let's see. Something is changing in the Neath. Someone wants to sign on. That's all for now. You have one of this another day of free evening. Rose Market bustles on Roser's Wharf. Who will there be today? Very fine evening to you, you captain. She is staying at a respectable boarding house near the docks and has made it known that she is available for work. Ah, specialized in amputation, it's easy to acquire unwanted appendages at thee. Her talent could be well employed on your vessel. All right. Yeah. I now have one of this. Clattery air. So I'd want to assign? I guess I can do that. Rose's Wharf. The Rose Market caters to collectors and eccentrics, anyone who has exotic tastes, and the gumption to harass the captains. Escort some interested acquaintances to the Rose Market. They hope to make a satisfying trade. Puppet plays press on un uninterrupted. Personal collections grow. Words written in fogged mirrors are hastily wiped away. The exotic exchange pollinate dreams. Okay. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My, what you have, Carl Mentor, is very fond of adventurers, the captain, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of he is so fond of the captains. Behind the blind bruiser, 
On the dock stands a dry dray piled high with fuel and supplies. Do make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back later. It would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? Yes. <laughs> He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river. What is much patronized by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar. In public house, there is no obligation to speak of. My children would only hope that you might return him kindly, and I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Oh. I'm probably going to have to say it's a little too good to be true. I will not deny that I am a little saddened, but I think that my patron also will share my sadness. But I understand that you knows your business and that a Z captain is a free spirit. And I will explain carefully to my patron that you meant no insult by refusing of his kind gift. Zell safe. The Dre creaks off into the dark side crowd. Hey, good night, Bio. Let's see here. My lodgings. Rest in the room above the blind helmsman. Need some money. Let's, uh, yeah, let's rest in the room. Use the last rest. A restful night. All right, cool. Back to the city. And visit the university. No. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Bring up my gazetter. Officers. Surgeon. Boom. Boom. And let's see. Talk to the cook. Talk to mascot. Let's speak to the mascot. <laughs> Play with your ferret. Attract its attention. Play that eye rolls say. Play. I played once in the Happy Warrens of London before you installed me in this floating co coffin and made... Wait, is it talking to me? Made me eat dry food. Damn your play. It is an eloquent eye roll. Ah. Oh, oh, I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. All right, moving on. Hang on a second. No, I got, I got no money. I got no money. Snake boys. What about vampire boys? Oh, that's good too. Oh, okay. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Maya wants to make an anime boy card game? Well, good for her. We've entered a farm bank. Our gunners struggle to see our foes. Oh, it's the frigate again. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get out. 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 Run away. Run away. Oh, it's chasing me. We good. Brisk spatter spray. The unto Z is restless. All clear. 
You're coming up with ideas for anime boys and you ended up with Fox Boy. <laughs> I mean, you can always just look at like a monster, monster manual thing or whatever. I don't know. And just anime it. Anime! An appropriate subject to talk about. No space child. Your job is to draw butts. Okay, you can still draw butts, alright. Draw some butts. Hmm. Here the slate black sea is like rippled glass, spiked with light from the roof. The air trembles, a breath of change passes. Why are you adding me? <laughs> you asked me a question. I don't see a question. I'm going to run out of gas. If you want them to draw butts right now, <laughs> ah, go ahead, draw butts. I don't care. I'm gonna run out of gas. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's a map. What the fuck? All right. It's not going to matter because we're going to die! Bidmead Reefs. Hmm. Hopefully there's going to be a... Uh... Without fuel, your ship is just an oddly shaped house located somewhere. Distant bells. Fuel reserves are empty. Search your supplies for something of use. There must be something you can repurpose as fuel. Well, how much supplies do we have? We have two supplies. Ah, shit. Well, I think we're gonna die. We're gonna run out of fuel. What the fuck is that? A moray? Well, we're gonna die. We're gonna go down fighting. Take that, you knave! We're out of fuel. We're not going anywhere. The Moray is going to kill us. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm not doing too good, yo. Well, 
What's up, Nixie? Wealth. I like this one. Make it happy again. Apu. All right, my lodgings. Yes. Get a passenger. Gators mourn. Hire more crew. You sent that to Apple, did you? I don't think you sent me anything. Let me double check. Oh wait, yeah you did. <laughs> yeah you did, I remember now. It's a, it's a beautiful drawing, it's a beautiful drawing. Anything in particular that we need? Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details on your journal at any time. Retrieve strategic information from Gator's Morn in the Corsair Forest. All right. Once you've proven yourself, proven. Okay. So I need to go. Especially, you tried pretty 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 pretty. Stock right there. And away we go. Yes, these creatures have a lot more HP than the uh, the boats. Pilot was actually the first pass that that I uh, defeated. Don't forget, you got to do the robot and the bullet as well. Rowena's Rocks. Discovered Mutton Island. Ah, yes. Dump all my supplies and eat my crew. It's the only way. Huh. Uh, dump, the, dump the supplies. Let's say, let's say. <laughs> I hate failing a pass, man. I failed the robots passed like two or three times so frustrating holy moly Quakers heaven explore the shore pick up a wretched mog chat to the fisherman visit the hilltop above town there's not much wind on the Uturzi, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicably local fragment of weather and the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. Yeah, sure, let's try this. You stand on a cliff top looking over a little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch the smoke tilts, the sudden wind thins it to a pencil smudge and then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must, must be the caves around the island, channeling the air. At least that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is southerly. Alright, I guess I succeeded in that. Buy supplies, buy fuel. Let's, let's, uh, let's see, we need 20. Eh.
You always had fun. You never won it. Well, so far, I've uh, lost a lot. Drink the Cox, chat to the Fishman, buy supplies. All right, perhaps not. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's get out of here. Onwards to adventure! You calling people buttons? Ha! Huh. Little ships throng the waters here. The crew grow wistful. They swap old stories of sunlit sea. We draw near to the Kumayan Canal, the way to the surface. A baked breeze rises, the improbable scent of stone out of some distant desert. You are close to the salt lions. A belt of smoke goes up from the tunnel. Funnel. What is this? The salt lions. There's a vast sorrow in their empty eyes. Two basalt beasts, cathedral in size. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The North One carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like rot. Pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. Hmm. Visit the Unmakers. Hmm, okay. Record the activities of the Unmakers, such as they are. Right of Stones of Silence. You now have one of this. The salt lions. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about this one down here? Nope. What do you say, crow? Friggin' sir! A crew of only ten. I believe they're retreating, sir. Yeah, got him. Loot and scudder. There's something from the back of the hold. Supplies and fuel. And a crate of curiosities. A bolt of fabric. Parabole is a serpent place behind mirrors. Or someone made that up. But in that case, where do they weave this sleek and ambery glimmering cloth? All clear. I think there's something up here. Ba, 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 ba. Wilbert's Abyss. They've gained a secret. Wonder why it's called Wilbert's Abyss. It's like his butt. Fed the crew. I 
I did come across a living iceberg already. Flitterstone. And I picked a fight with it, so... Uh-oh. This looks like a lovely place to dock. Field Haven, huh? The Wolf's Rift. Where you going, boy? Mm -hmm, that's what I thought. Give me them supplies. Another bolt of fabric, huh? Some delicious spider silk. Ah, uh, we're gonna need some supplies soon. Shepherd Islands. Picnic at Standing Stones. The bearded villagers will sell you mutton stew and kefir and stone bottles of cold, fresh spring water and row you over to the stones. Hmm. Turn my light off. Okay. All right, let's take a little. Let's have a little picnic. And, uh, yeah. Have a nice little picnic. Your sailors watch the fireflies shimmer, swap shanties, pass around the grog, and shy stones at the more vampirically inclined z bats. Grasses nod in the breeze. Across the dark water, the lights of the Abbey Rock glow watchfully. Kabbalah Port Report. The bleak light of the false stars, surface rolling like a portrait pot, up in with the roar of the steam flash of fire. Three widows swimming, tentacles. And then we saw his highness. There is rather a lot of material. Shops, huh? Yeah, here we go. Let's see. We're gonna... Oops. Alright, that's fine. Let's see. Spend a secret to improve your hearts, but no higher than 50. Eh? Ah, hey, hey, okay. Here we go. Cool, Zachary. Cool. We need, uh... I'm gonna run out of fuel again. <laughs> I need, um, um, food. <laughs> We're gonna starve! Again! That's a terror rate. Terror. Very terror. There's a lot of terror going on right now. Far from light. Well, here's some light right here. Here the slate black sea is like rippled glass, spiked with light from the roof. Gotta get back to London. I don't think we're gonna make it though. We're gonna have to eat the crew. <laughs> get food! I don't have any food! Maybe they'll have food.
Sploosh. Got him. Ah, supplies, yes. And more fabric. Sploosh. Good, good. We can now eat. The crew is there to be eaten, really. <laughs> the officers shall live. The crew shall be food. Okay, so lights, lights on for fighting. Gotcha. The waves are cluttered with the wreck. Like drowned hair drifting. Yes, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> Massey's shaft. What does Z-Bat do? Oh. Some distance to the east. Okay. We're almost there, boys. Z-Bat is used to scout out nearby locations. Oh, cool. So I should be sending it off all the time. Sit on your opponent's ass. Most ships can only fit one rear-facing gun, so take your last damage. Okay. We did it! We made it back! Holy moly! I can't believe it! We went so far! Ah, we made it. An inspection by the Ministry of Public Decency. Some things are too illegal for the Customs Service to admit the existence of. The Ministry are here looking for those. You shrug and invite them to search your ship as thoroughly as they would like. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than a moldy ship's biscuit. Collect messages from the harbor master. Okay. All the clatter and the song of the dockside, the soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? Let's find out. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, she wants to join my lodgings. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Quite. Quite. Um, shops. Advice for captains. I kind of want to sell the... the Neath. Let's try the Advice Snippet Storylet. Sell to remove the Advice Storylet. Okay. I'm not using it. Let's see. Mrs. Plenty Shipside Provisioners. Wolf Shack 16 carries naval surplus. I have a lot of steeple engine. What do I sell? You want to stay below 50 terror. Okay. We are clay. Lead better and strain. Uh -huh. 
Ah, here we go. There we go. Now we got some money. Yeah. Now we got some money. So now we can get some provisions. So let's get some supplies. Cost 20 echoes. Oh my goodness. Well, I started with that much. So we can buy some fuel too. And got that much. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 And then we're going to go to the shipyard. Oh. I get better ships. What's this, what's this little guy? Possibly there's a reason you might want to set to Z in a boat the size of a dining room table. Possibly. Ah, yes. Indelible. Ligia. Lampard class. Foresight class. Damn, son. Damn, I can get some big boats. A dreadnought. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Um, story, right? Yeah, story. Specialist as surgeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Rosa's Wharf. Escort someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to go to our lodgings and we're going to sleep up. Yes. Okay, cool. Little gift, and eh, I'm gonna have to refuse that one because I know that's gonna be pretty. Oof. If this is the university, the university has an unexhaustible appetite for secrets and these specimens and other tidbits of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. Oh yes, the university's maritime liaison whispers breath breathily. Oh yes. That is quite a tasty one. Let me explain to you. She, he explains, teeth glinting. Hmm. You are now Favors Antikyrian. Eh. Eh. Who the hell is this? The alarming scholar is peculiar to say the least. Blah, blah, blah. No, we can't do anything with this dude. Matter of luck. Pretty good. Your luck quality gives you 80% chance of success. Caruse the wolf stack docks. There's no danger. This will reduce your terror. You might run into trouble. It's locked though. Eh, shit. Asher passage. Yeah, you're gonna passage to the that guy. All right. So let's uh, let's get out of here. Off we go. So I think we're gonna go up to uh, vendor bite. Drop off this tomb dude. The Neath. Oh yeah, the Neath. Oh, I didn't even notice. It's been two hours already? Holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Fed the crew. That damn crew. Taking up all my food. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. So I think these little things are these guys. So when you come back to London, you reduce your terror? Alright. Straightforward challenge. Yes, we did this. We got our supplies. We got iron. One outlandish artifact. Alright. Next. Awesome. Awesome. Unlocked with someone's trying to get your attention. 
One of the tomb colonists takes an obvious interest in your crew, specifically the clattery air. Actually, I need to... Oop, there you go. The tomb colonist draws you a little way away from the clattery air. Don't tell her you met me, he says in hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice. Hope to fix it so I wouldn't be able to look for my daughter. So I wouldn't want to. He wheezes. Didn't notice. Didn't work. <coughs> I can't do that. Operation? Never. Completely effective. Need to know my daughter's well. Happy. Finding enough patience, getting enough to eat, and so forth. In exchange for the simplest news, he explains himself. I'm her father, he says. Ordinary engineer. Not the sort of parent she would want. If you wish to tell the air about this encounter, you can do so by speaking with her. Okay. Get some gossip going on. Explore Vendabite. High risk challenge. No. I don't want to. Eh. All right, search warily. You can just about interpret these glyphs. They speak of a god who lives in the roof. A walking dream of storm, a memory of rage, the god the glyphs claim destroyed this temple. I succeeded in the mirror's challenge, and I got 52 fragments. That's all for now. <laughs> Launch. Where are we going, boys? I guess we'll go east. For adventure and discovery! Crew has been fed. We discovered Tana Chok. Tana Chok. Pure Wall Point. Yeah, we need to find a, figure out a way to get get money. That's what we need to find. Moody's Light. Is that a crab? Some mega megalops. Yeah, we're gonna take that out. We're gonna, we're gonna shoot that. Go and get your boy. Go and get your boy. Get out of here, dummy. It's a big old crab. With a forlorn and wailing cry, the Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded. A bluish blood gout from its wounds. Its golden glows begin to dim. Dissect it, huh? Let's butcher it. The crew will feast! That glowing flesh is unstable. It crisp and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Alright. Fed my crew with a crab. Discovered Demo Island. I have gained a secret. The glim lamp at the prow fizzles. Iron and Misery Co. Funging Station. Funging Station! Tea with a factor. The poor fellow needs the company and he can spare an hour away from his schedule. Let's have some tea. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house. 
Looking out over the fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores, the scones are stale, even the tea has a hint of mildew. But the factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the ice and roses of Irim. The monstrosities of the sea of lilies and the little restaurant of Venderbite, where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. Venderbite, I know. I never met a tomb colonist who could cook, but you must visit a place. Do you know of it? He also has a load of... Bologna? Bolo Balagus. Balagus frond carted abroad aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I have eaten so much of the stuff, I fear it might have been transformed entirely into the fungus. He leans confidently towards you. It happens, you know, but one does not eat rather a lot of it first. You turn into a mushroom man. You want to eat some... Eat some uh... Alright, let's eat some fungus. You were fortunate. Ah, yes. Some of the island's fungus is good to eat. Some of it poisonous. Who's the or mischievous? <laughs> Alright, we're good. Well, look at us. We got some supplies now. So where are we at? Mm -hmm. So we should, st we should probably stick. Ooh, that's a big boy. Stay on the butt. Stay on the ass. Staying on the ass. It's working. It's working. Lights on. Aw, oh, yeah. Look at that. Stay on the butt. Don't stop moving. Damn, son, you got outmaneuvered. Boop. <laughs> gotcha. Crippled, broken, and already feeding the Z's endless hunger. Little remains of the ship, but scraps are sinking. Let's investigate. Quick! Over there! Pull it side! The pirate poet. The legendary clay woman Corsair. She clings tight to the last few scraps of floating debris. Defeated but defiant. Throw her a rope. Claim a bounty. The Z may show mercy. You will not. Hmm. Your pilot run is doing great. Nice. You've heard of the pirate poet. You have this. She hunts far from London, picking off both other pirates and travelers who sailed too far. Well, not unless I stay on the ass. Hmm. She, hmm. I'm going to take the cargo. I don't know. Should I? Hmm. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. The pirate poet is swallowed by the darkness. As the prow light slides away. Clay men may not need to breathe, but they cannot float. Even their mighty bodies cannot survive forever down lonely black depths where there is no hope of rescue. This far from civilized lands, it is unlikely any friendly ships will pass by in time. But that is her concern. Yours is the intriguing crate that some of your more enterprising crew fished out of the water. What could be inside? Ah, tightly sealed crate, huh? Seven fuel! Alright. 
Well, thank you. All clear. Let's try to repair. I cannot repair. <laughs> Send off the bat. Z bats range. Well, we got a lots and lots of fuel, so that's great. No islands anywhere. I'm assuming it's looking for... Gators Morn. Isn't that where I needed to go before? Yeah. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuits. It waggles its antenna impertinently. Gators Morn. Aha, here we go. Beautiful. Gators Morn is stalagmite, vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. The Morna. The Corsair Citadel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches takes the strain, and your ship rises slowly from the Z. Her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors groan and cling to the stanchions. Higher, higher. Now the Unta Z shimmers like glass below. Children clamoring on the crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The wince motor slows, and you hang in a cradle next to a red bowed pirate cutter. Here's your payment, madame. I'll be back in the evening bell. Drop off the August Travel Rider. Here you go. Ah, yes, 150 Echoes. The Travel Rider sets across the planks with good speed. His briefcase is in hand. It seems heavy, although he claimed it held only documents and writing equipment for an interview with a pirate king. The day passes relatively peacefully. There are brawls, but a good fun. The blood washed away with celebratory spear. By night, the boisterous cheer had given away to the whispers an uncommonly brutal murder executed within the experimental ship rod. They say you couldn't enter the shipyard without stepping on a victim. The travel rider returns. He greets you with a curt nod, and he boards your ship. Give the travel rider passage. 150 echoes, you say. Why not? The August Travel Rider flips through his notebook while on your deck. Awful thing! That murder commonplace here, I suppose. Fortunately, my interview was illuminating and my business on the morn is complete. We can depart. I have another port to visit. If you could care for another 150 at the Echoes. Yes. Kumian Canal, huh? I think that's south. Remember? Shops. Yes. Uh, let's see here. An errant limpet, a friendly face. No. Unstamped crate of brilliant souls? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Just what I don't want. Fuel, supplies, solace fruit. Looks, uh... Frick... Frickin'. Frickin', frickin', frickin'. Let's get a couple supplies. Can I repair my ship a little bit? Hmm... I would definitely like to repair my ship, but I don't know if I can here. Explore more and pay the loitering docker for a strategic information. Refuse to pay for information. Collect ill-gotten gains to blending children. High risk. Gather intelligence. Explore the morn. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the morn. It's vertically admitted, admittedly, but once you find the Beast Pass and Urchant Rose, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor, with an additional throatful of lurching terror. 
Ah, oh, yes, fun. Oh, what's going on here? Fire! Who'll try it, who'll buy it? A street vendor turns skewers on the grill. It makes sense on nothing like anything sold in London. Try the grilled troglodyte prawns. Oh, delicious. Try something mysterious. Right, let's try the prawns. Get a fragment, lost some hunger. That's all for now. Okay. Good. Another afternoon at the errant limpent. You've gained a terror. Oh, shit. Hey, take care, Nixie. All right, let's get out of here. I think he was talking about going down south here in this area. Send the bat off. Z bat. I mean, we got a lot of fuel right now, so that's great. Stay on the butt. Stay on the butt. <laughs> Staying on the butt. Man, that was some great advice. <laughs> gotcha two supplies two fuel all right more supplies okay jeez Stay on the ass and don't stop moving. Yeah, that strategy seems to be occurring in every game I play. I think I saw another ship up here. Son of a bitch. Spotted me. Gotta lose him. We gotta go back to London. We gotta dry dock. I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you later. Hope a crab kills you. Oh, wait. Can I dock with this guy? Light ship. Speak to the crew. Purchase fuel. Okay. Lost five terror. Now have one Z story. All right. Bad Stevner's Abyss. Returning to London. What are you talking about? There's no issue. It applies to so many games. And pornos. Yes, of course, Space Child. Go back to your Jaeger bombs.
We have returned. We have nothing to hide. Messages from the Harbour Master. One, another day, free evening. That's all for now. Someone wants to sign on. Someone wants to sign on! Visit to Clathermont's Tattoo Parlor. You're a real Zayla now. After all, you could go to one of these... Those tobacco and prey places by the docks. But the price at the Clathermore, the Clathermonts are reasonable, and his daughters are real artists. But what sign will you choose? Commemorate your Zaylor's skills. This will increase your veils by permanent by two permanently and cure up to 25 points of tailor. And I think that's all I can do. <laughs> The Wheel of Mists. Let's see. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Gunda wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay m much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't have any of these. <laughs> Never mind. Shops. Offices. Well, did I get anything? No, I just got a bunch of supplies and uh, fuels. Bunch of supplies, bunch of fuels. What I do need... I need to dry dock if I can. I know I saw it before. Rose Market, Carew's, the Wolf Stocks. Hmm. Hire more crew. Straightforward challenge. And we got plenty of crew. Ah, here we go. For repairs or something, other purposes. Yeah, here we go. Leader Beater and Stainer Shipyard. Uh -huh. LNH will do a fair job for a decent price, but they have a reputation for cutting corners. If you're badly damaged and short on money, this is a worth to go, yes? CNH is reputable for re reliable work for a slightly higher price. You may call in some of your admiralty favors. Have cheap. Good enough for now. Ship is acceptable. Employ Radis Faber engineers. The Rats of Fallen London are remarkably skilled engineers, and they know ships well. They're not, however, reliable. Payment is in kind, not currency. Huh. Pretty good odds, though. And supplies. Hold no more than 74. All right, yeah, sure. Let's try this one out. Hey, hey, hey. Rats sweep over your ship like a tide. Day and night, their tiny tools click. Your crew... Step over them cautiously. It's actually rats? Like rat rats? What? Okay. <laughs> Eventually the rat tide withdraws. How good a job have they done? They did pretty well. I now have five more terrors. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't know what happened. I guess, um, yeah, sure. They are indeed intelligent talking rats. Well, shit. <laughs> I had no idea. That's that's pretty that's pretty nifty. Should I buy another one of these? Torpedo net. Forward weapon. Forward deck weapon. Huh. So torpedo launcher. It's a deck gun. But I already have one, so I don't know if I can stack them on top of each other. You want someone to take a look at that inside? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. An elderly steeple engine. Yeah, secure compartment. Better lights. Judgment resonator. <laughs> oh, man. Now that is indeed some good lighting.
The Judgment Resonator. Yeah, I can only have one deck. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's go... Um, let's go down to the south, I think, down here. That's where the guy wanted to go. What's up, Daphne? Oh, this doesn't work. Oriental flavor is bizarre. I don't know, Space, what does it taste like? Does it taste like Orientals? <laughs> Not much to start the day, but right on. Yeah, I just picked this game up and I'm impressed by it. It's pretty cool. I'm definitely having no idea what's going on, so <laughs> bear with me, please. Yes, Vivi's wisdom knows no bounds. It's bottomless like a lake. Um, I did not pick up Soma when it was six bucks. I was not in the right state of De Niro to even give that much uh, money for video games. So next time, next time when it uh, it comes to uh, a sale, I can get it. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Ah, oh, there it is down here. Can't spend, you can't send sparkly hearts. All right, we made it. This is it, right? No, it's not. Maybe? Yes, it is. No? Dianoti Harbor, huh? Ah, here we go, yeah, yeah. The Kumian Canal Staging Area. Drop off the August Travel Rider. Hey, yo. The Travel Rider sets swiftly into the port, his briefcase hanging easily at his side. In the middle of your afternoon tea, a crowd rushes by the cafe. They gather at the foot of the lamppost, gawking, shrieking, gasping. A woman is strung up from the light, her face sliced like a Venetian blinds. Heavens! A pale navigator whispers, Isn't she the explorer? Said she meant to plant a flag on the bed. No one replies. You spy the travel rider in the crowd, frowning. 200 echoes for the last voice. The August travel rider makes a few notes in his journal. As you can walk back to your ship, he's su his suit is immaculate, though his hands are ink-stained. I have one last port to visit, he says quietly. There's 200 echoes in for you. Well, okay, let's go. Travel Rider snaps shut his journal. I've only one last place to visit. Khan's Hot. Take me there wherever the most convenient. Okay, sure. Listen for gossip. One vision of the surface, huh? This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interest of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of the London prevent it. They don't like competition, so there are temporary half-legal holsters of the long moored ships. Here you trade story with suntan surface sailors. Stories of Paris and Batavia. Batavia. The Lost Files in the Final Isles. Hmm, 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 hmm. The gates open and shut. The lock remains... The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe, in all the Untersee, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. Perhaps not. Let's see. Shops. Eh, just some harbor provisions. Eh, we're good. 
Maybe I should talk to some people. I can't do that. Um, speak. Tell them my secrets. Hmm. I don't know what those do. All right, moving on. What are you guys doing in chat? No, I wonder what that is. A, a what? A jilly fluer? Oh, jeez. Quit booping me. All clear. Hmm. Scoop it up. What's the oil rainbow colors fade? Perhaps you can eat it. Better yet, perhaps your zailers can. Well, we don't have hunger right now, so let it. Let's let it disperse. Okay. I can do a little repairing right now. Do one more. Okay. We'll be sure to eat the crew when the time comes, right? Hey, BB, watch your language, huh? <laughs> Who do you think you are, man? Who do you think you are? Heckin' in my stream. The Iron Republic. Some distance to the south, huh? Sizzling vapors rise from the sea. Time slips sideways. A coil of rope is strung and stokered. His fellows beat it to death. We are under the hand of the Iron Republic. Are these dwarves? I'm sure we don't want to go in there. Yeah. Hell's client state, beware, their laws are not the laws of the man or nature. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. Mm -hmm. Well, I already got... No, I don't. Let's see. Madame, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design of a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? The cannoneer is gunnery officer who substantially increases iron. Oh, well, this is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me let me make notes. Paper. Appoint your new officer. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. Got a gunnery officer now. Well, how about that? How about that? Fire in the belly. Let's see here. Can I put that right there? It's all these just weapon slots. Hmm. 
What else can we do here? Market of Hungers. Parliament of Flies. Flies Fillets Arcade. Buzz Buzz. All right, sure. I gained a terror. Oh, great. <laughs> Port report. I have one tale of terror. The streets won't lie straight, and the ink freezes when you look away from the inkwell. To record the Republic's events, it's like trying to sing wax or believe water. You do what you can. The third paragraph buds eyes. The date is fundamentally wrong. The full stops bite. You do what you can. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Well, I have a tale of terror now. This place is spooky. We gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. Nope. <laughs> Shh. I'm like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. We got a uh, we got a dreadnought on our ass. That's not uh, that's not good. Now this little guy, maybe. Dreadnought, no thank you. Stay on the ass. Oh shit, do they have ass weapons? They might have ass weapons. They do not. Ass weapons. <laughs> it's the perfect strategy. See? Perfect strategy. You destroy the unfinished revolutionaries. Fragments of clay litter across the deck. They crunch underfoot like pot charge. Unfinished men do not surrender. A ah, little, little curiosity, yeah. Yeah, just some fuel. Weapon of ass destruction, yeah. A visage? Oh, visage. A visage. Oh, it's a face. Kapalka Kov.
We are out of supplies again. Faces may not be naked. This is a part of Vistas where faces may not be naked, except one, a stone monument the size of a village church, serenely gazing upwards, flourishing for years. All those who enter must pay their parts. The sign is visible only after you've crossed the threshold. Moon moth spreads and folds its wings. Are those parts of the moth costume? Looks like way... Eh. Wait, the moth? The moth... Uh, okay. The moth... Uh, okay. It says it's bat mask on my face and ties the worn leather straps around the back of your head. The inside of the mask smells of musk. Okay, thank you. Visit the library of parts. Okay. Steal the scrolls. Nah. I don't think I should. I don't think I should steal the scrolls. Maybe I should have. <laughs> no shops. No ship rars, No nothing. No nothing. Place is a rip off. I'm gonna go to the salt lines, I think. Uh oh. Lights on! Go get you, motherfucker! Right on your ass! The perfect strategy. Look at this. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He can't do it. He can't do it. He's like, oh shit, dude. He's like, oh man. Your ass attack is too great for me to handle. Hey, slug dog. Yeah, you keep throwing those flares down. You keep throwing those flares down. See how well they'll serve you. Where you going? Where you running? Where you running? Pop! Let's see. Investigate the wreckage. Oh, look, it's Pirate Poet again. Alright, well, thank you. The filth scrap of paper ceased and gr creased and grimy. It's a page from a journal. Until the sixth candle was extinguished, now we all watched the flame as it stood up, as if we were on tiptoes, taller and bluer each heartbeat. Its light grew brighter in the mon moments before it failed, so that I saw faces of all my companions drawn and white as if they were already dead. Then the candle flame drew itself up like a dancer and was extinguished. Dark fell upon us like always, and on I heard the hatchlings uncoil. Alright. We need food. Reef of roses, huh? The game about sailing? Yeah! Crew's gonna starve. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. A 
hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. Ah, now any lover knows what a blue light means. Your heart's calling you to 81 chance. A sea story. There's a perfectly natural explanation. Well, there you go. Let's try that one. I have succeeded. Excellent. The darkness in the neath is more than absence of light. It is a physical presence in which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your sailors. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. What's up, Rainy? <sighs> oh yes, I had to uh, shut down Discord because I had to update XSplit. Because <laughs> XSplit needed an update, but the auto-closing features never work. Oh, what the fuck is that? Something to kill, huh? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The ass attack doesn't work! It's a crab! He moves sideways! I should have known! Stay very far away. No, I'm a boat. Help! Help! Crab! Okay, just avoid- just okay. Groans of hunger. Dude, we're fighting a giant crab right now. Kind of got bigger problems.
go, 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 go. There are fewer rats around the ship lately. Perhaps it's because your hold is empty of supplies. Perhaps it's because your crew is turning to alternate sources of nutrition. We're going to turn a blind eye. We're, don't worry, we're going to eat a giant... We're going to eat crab. We're going to eat crab. It'll be delicious. It'll be delicious. Oh boy. Oh boy. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. One less mouth to feed. An un -pos un Okay, yeah. There is probably probably something horrible inside, but possibly there is not. Slice it open. Hmm. Let's slice it open. Slice it open. What's within? Call them Z eggs. The bow son suggests we don't want to tell the crew what they actually are. They're safe to eat, but you know. All right, we got supplies, baby. Also, I think there was like the salt lines, like right here. So Timothy, nah, man, crew's the crew's fine, dude. We're fine. We're fine. What's up, Jonte? Don't you tell me about something's above my level. I'll level you. Take you out. Take you downtown, boy. Let's see. Visit the Unmakers. Carry the Sphinx Stone to London. The Unmakers are here to reduce the Salt Lion's rubble one block at a time. Help them with their work by carrying the rubble back to London. You'll need a deposit and 20 units of spare cargo. I'm pretty sure I got that. Alright. Uh, we got any shops? Nope. Alright. Sure. We'll grab one. Off to London. We'll make it. <laughs> we'll make it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Rage still can't beat the dragon. Ha! What a dummy. I got a lot of terror right now. So what you're saying is I should grab a ton of Sphinx Stone, huh? Quaker's Haven, baby. Drinks at the Cock and Magpie. Spoil the shore. Chat with the fishermen. Visit the hilltop. Should have done that. <laughs> I 
I see a little baby crab. Quaker Oats, yep. Oh man, I just... Little baby crab's gonna kick our ass! dissect it you start to work with the knives and acids it is an undistinguished adolescent specimen a megalops of one of the deep sea crab species but its eyes normally vestigial in these troglytic beasts are larger and rather beautiful the golden glow is almost gone now although sparks leap now and then to your knife all right little bobby crab Bobby Crab is no more. We dissected it, a la XCOM. Making our way to London. We're gonna die. We're gonna freak out. Everything's gonna be all right not really though baby crab yes that's what it gets Terror is always reduced to 50 when you return to London. If it's higher, however, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Oh, yes, I got nightmares. Someone wants to sign up. Alright, cool. Let's see here. More monologuing? Read the morning papers. The Kanate is threatening war. I already read this one. Right, let's see here. Perhaps not. Where do I take the take the Sphinx stones? House of Vision, Misery Company, Camius Yards, Naval Supplies. This tray, maybe from here. No. Definitely need food and supplies, but I don't have enough money. I don't got money, dude. Fetcher's Desires. Nope. Rose's Wharf. Uh-huh. Labyrinth of Tigers. No. Tomb Colonist, Ventures Venture, Miscellaneous, Terror, Pirate Poet, Femininity, Coding Chapter is almost safe. Hmm. Did I not pick any up? No, I got some right here. A contact in London will purchase them. Okay. They look like bones, I guess. Maybe I missed that. Hmm. No, no one here. Not in the shipyard, of course not. Oof, that dreadnought. I want it. Ah, here we go. Deliver the Sphinx Stones. Ooh! You get a lot of money! Maybe I should do that a lot. Aw, oh, yeah, boys. Let's get some supplies and get some fuel. Fuel!
We ain't good tonight, boys. We ain't good tonight. Photos may be used to reveal your enemies, increase the speed of your firing solution. All right. Well, let's see here. Let's uh, let's see. we got a dry dock. We gotta get it. we get ourselves a dry dock. We gotta heal up our ship. Damn, son. Mm, I kind of like the rats. <laughs> the rats were pretty good. Let's do the rats again. Uh oh, an unfortunate turn of events. Oof, I got terror. I lost a crew. Oh shit. Rats sweep over your ship like tide, day and night. Their tiny tools click. Your crew steps over them cautiously. Unfortunately, some complex rat vendetta is at play here. Wearing rat, warring rat families decide to use your ship as a battleground. They're quite well behaved about it, and the damage is minimal. But an unfortunate passing sailor gets rat bullet. Through the eyes and drowns in the Thames. You protest, but the contract is clear. There's an exception for ocular perturbances. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if we can hire anyone. I think there are some people looking to... Uh, yeah, here we go. Yes. Sensible sailors. Ah, yes, here we go. Can we get some more? Yes. All right, we got crew. We got crew, we got supplies. Let's go get the, some more of those uh, Sphinx Stones. Let's buy some more supplies. All right, Sphinx Stones, let's do that. That's that's some good stuff. Yeah, Hexa, those Hexa guns and the Hex-based weapons and Enter the Gungeon, they're really good. It's always great hitting someone Turn, them, turn like a big bad guy into a chicken. And then just walking over him and killing him instantly. Those are the best. Do, 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 do. Now I know how to make money. Just gotta make a little, just a little journey, just a little journey back and forth. Killing crabs on the way. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. You have begun to dream of a vast eye. It knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. A black, unsleeping taste. Again and again, you are alone on the wide black Z. The eye is aware. Your nightmare will come upon you from time to time, inspiring terror. Gain restful nights at your lodgings to help you resist it. If you defeat it, you may gain a secret. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about that. What will you learn? Beneath cavern, okay. Five sailors dice for a corpse of a Z-Bat. It, it is ill luck for a sailor to kill a Z-Bat. One wins it, but in his hand it becomes a freshly cut surface flower. His fellows cry out in envy and greed. They fall on him and there comes a great rending of white petals. More petals fall, obscuring the mass. The ship, the neath, the false stars of the roof, it is very cold. You will have to set a fire. Huh. Uh-oh. We might have some bad stuff happening to us. Jellyfish. Let's 
Salt Lion. Let's get some stuff. Ah, shit. I don't have enough money. Fuck. Ah. No. I did not know. No. My plan. It's all for naught. Scoop it up. It's gone. You're left with gooey gloves and a buttery smell on this purple thing. Is it an egg? A heart? A less fortunate traveler dissolved and shriveled to mauve ruin? Put it somewhere safe. I got a strange catch. Alright. Maybe I can sell it. Not here, though. Blech. Oh shit, man. I forgot I needed 200 for a deposit. Ah, oh, it has a limited number of stuff to do. I gotcha. Okay. And here I thought I could just keep doing it. I mean, how good would that be, right? Wilbert's Abyss. Hmm. The air trembles. A breath of change passes. Fed the crew. Wilbert's ass. Ah, oh, poor VV. A shame. Shepherd's Pass. Shit, dude. Scoop it up. Supplies. Lures a submerged Z beast to the surface. Oh, boy. Lots of port reports and bring them back. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Timothy.
Tales of the Three Graves. The Chelinet write their hunters. They kill the turtle the size of London and built their city in its shell. A ship from the Chelinate came by, hunting the midnight whale. Three of them had died cowards, so their bodies couldn't go into the Z. They paid us for the land and whale ivory. I still got a piece, but I keep it safe. Uh huh. Engage an offer. The sigil ridden navigator. I let, I let me guide your ship. I know all the navigators. The first officer increases mirrors. Okay, yeah, sure. Sigil ridden navigator. There you go. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Launching. My favorite item and weapon in the gungeon. Um, hmm. I have to think about that. I think the bandana is pretty cool if you can use it right. And then my favorite weapon is the uh, the engine. The engine that lets you go faster. And then you can like stand and fire and get ammo back. Firkin prisoner, honey. All right. <laughs> what are you doing, Raiden? <laughs> Now and then, rocky fragments fall from the roof of the Neath. The decks of the older ships are pocketed with scars. A sound is one no landlubber knows, and no sailor will ever forget. This one has smashed the glass of a deck binnacle. Ill omen, one sailor cries. The god in the roof, Storm, is angry. Proper price of fuel is 10 or less, supply 20 or less. One of the three nameless gods of the Z, an absurd superstition. Storm is a nosiest, angriest of at least reasonable the Z gods. Better not take chances. You know something of the three gods of Z. You now have gods of the Z, Storm's attention. Lost of supply and lost of terror. Your zailers know you're the words. You mumble them. A gift of wine and fish is suitable, marked with the captain's blood. Bound with copper wine, cast overboard from the bow. The package bobs for a moment and then is sucked beneath the ship. Stay on the ass. Get that ass attack. Storm's attention event eventually a storm related random event will occur. Oh great. Drowning pearls. The Fathom King spits these out. Your boast son offers coughs them up like a cat does a hairball. He catches your skeptical glance. Tr 
true as I'm here, Captain. There's a fancy word for it all, and and or I'm a lover. Whatever encyclopedia the bow son has been drinking. Interesting. Godfall. Hmm. Of wine, of blood, of shouting, explore the shadow. I guess I can do this. The brawling bearded men who live here call themselves monks. They pay lip service to Saint Stalactite, which fell from the roof, but their chief interests seem to be wine, blood, and shouting. Okay. Stay on the ass. What's up, Dream Pops? Yeah, it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty well. Brand new game. I'm learning what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to die. Gather up the corpses. Crew's been fed. Home. Warmly lit windows. Company. Peace. Thoughts of home come at the strangest times. It's it's a very very um heavy narrative based game. Very mysterious. Reoccurring nightmare watched. The sea is bright as milk. False stars above are black on the pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze unfolds your boat. You are transparent as glass. Turn the helm and flee across the milk bright sea. This will reduce night nightmare strength. If it reaches zero, the nightmare will fade entirely. If you have any restful nights, they will reduce the difficulty. All right, I got no more nightmare. You turn the helm and flee across the milk bright sea. Your dreams have passed. That's good. No, I, I am a boat. Okay, so the story is that London was taken by bats underground and this is the underground lake that it was placed in so now there's like some Cthulhu-esque inspired creatures that hang out here and stuff
Nope, 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 nope. Run, 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 run. I definitely do. <laughs> cannot handle that right now. No, sir. We're docking. <laughs> Explore the more one. But from what I can gather, you're you're meant to go from port to port, gathering information and taking it back to London. You turn, and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says, I got a story for you. <laughs> no, I have stories for you. He has experienced horror and wonder, but so have you. And your tale is so much fresher. You wrestle with each other's histories until at last he concedes. Here, he says, this is where it all began. With the astronomer and the Ephemides. He whispers in your ear. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Gotta get away from that frigate. Because I got, like, no hole. We gotta die! Play the game like a spy and get your money from London. I gotcha, I gotcha. My boat sucks? No, it doesn't. Get out of here. It's all brawned. Well, so far it seems to be good. Haven't died in a while. In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately another. Yeah, quit making fun of the boat. The boat's trying its best. I am having fun. It's pretty good. It's very immersive, because I've been playing it for over three hours and I never noticed. So what you're saying is...
How do you combine them? Next time, I guess. Oh, two strategic information, so I don't have any of those. Ask what he needs. Visit a port and we'll be interested in the port report. Okay. Okay, interesting. All right. Hmm. Well, I got some more money, so that's good. They get Tontax in different ports for the Admiralty. Favor four, you have six. So we'll take it to Dragon War. One point of favor will get you two to three fuel. Submit vital intel. Okay, so here's this one. Two pieces of strategic information earned for spy networks. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. Gotcha. All right, it doesn't tell me what he needs yet. We need to dry dock. Pretty good odds. Cruise the wolf stack docks, huh? All right. There's no danger here. Try to enjoy yourself. This will reduce your terror. You might run into some some run into trouble or romance. A sea shanty's good companionship and the warmth of the pub fire. You were fortunate. You lost five terror. You lost thirty echoes, and you now have. One of this recent news. All right. Interesting. Dry dock. Lead bitter stain. Blah, blah, blah. I've been doing. I've been doing these rats, but I can't do it right now. I don't have the supplies. Uh, let's see here. These guys give a hundred. How many echoes do I got right now? One hundred and fifty-five. That's. Oh man, let's do. Uh, let's do these guys. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Now we gotta buy some supplies and stuff. Twenty and ten. Yep. Yep. Good. 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 Let's buy all these because we got a bunch of that. We got no monies. We got no monies. And we're off. To far off, to far off lands. So I don't know, maybe somewhere up here. Yeah, who needs money anyway? Come on. I gotta go far. 
This will be the last trip. Last trip for the night. Check my journal. Objective. Gators mourn in the Corsair's forest. Right here. Okay. Right on the ass. Gotta get those ass attacks in there. Ass attacks work. Okay, so I gotta go to... This place right here. The gate is mourn. And I was already here, but I didn't pick it up, I guess. Blood on the wind. So let's see. Ah, oh, here it is. So I'll just sell one fuel so I can do this. All right, now I have a uh, strategic information. Cool. So now my journal. So I gotta go back to him and get another mission. Okay, okay, I get it now, I get it now. I understand what I have to do. I just kinda wandering around I'm like, what do I do? But now I know. Thank you, Timothy. I guess maybe you should have had some rear guns, huh? Gotcha! Blue light lightings crawl leisurely up the funnel. St. Erasmus dancing, the cry goes up. Macy's shaft. Oh, joyous. Uh oh. It's his friend's turn. We're not in fog this time, baby. Pew, bitch! Mm. 
I'm gonna ram you. I'm gonna stay right on your ass. <laughs> Best strategy right here. The absolute best. That's how you do it, lads. <laughs> Yeehaw! Hurry! What are you trying to find, Rain? Crab! Baby crab! Can't find chat settings? Baby crab down. So now I can get another mission from the Admiral. Admiral. But you say it's better to combine information and sell those. Okay. Excellent. Now I know what I'm doing. Wow. Thanks, Timothy. The Revenue Men. Her enduring Majesty's Customs Services work closely with the, both the Ministry of Public Defense and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today they have selected you for an inspection. Don't cheek them. You have nothing to hide. Declare all your controlled goods. Talk your way out of it. Well, I don't have anything. I don't have any suspicion. Let them do their worst. This is also just, they roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At least they leave. At last they leave. Wow, so my suspicion was zero, and they still were like, Argh! 